Hey YouTube, what's going on? It's Patrick here at VectorVest. Glad to be with you guys again. So over the last few weeks, I've been bringing you a few different videos where I've been talking about how I believe the meme stocks, specifically AMC, GME, and a few others, have really been bundled up in some type of derivative or swap or somehow connected to futures markets. And today I'm here to bring you one of the biggest pieces of evidence that ties us all together and proves that the theories aren't just a theory anymore, bringing you the hard facts and evidence. So if you're ready to learn all about it, make sure to smash that like button, subscribe, turn on the notification bell for all the live content, and let's get into it here today. All right, welcome back everybody. So before I dive into the evidence, I just wanna start off and preface this with what I'm finding here today is something that the average person out there typically has no idea about or typically has never even looked at. And the evidence that we're looking at here today is designed so that most people couldn't interpret what it actually means and has no idea how it actually works. So I'm gonna to try to break it down and keep it as simple as possible and explain it to you so that way you can be up to date with what's going on and see exactly how these stocks are being manipulated. So there's been a lot of talk over the last eight months that these meme stocks have been added into some type of basket that's traded between big institutions and therefore that is the cause that's making them move and sink. Well, after doing a little research, I came across these reports called imports. These are forms that have to be filed twice a year. And what they do is they show any sort of derivatives that these financial institutions are trading or hedge funds are trading and gives you insight into those derivatives. So I've been spending a lot of time diving into these filings and I've found some really concrete evidence to give you guys an insight onto what's going on and to prove this is not just a theory anymore and that there is actual hard evidence linking all these stocks together. So to start it off, we're starting on the SEC's website looking at the Edgar, which is all their filings and the history of all of them. And as you can see, I have GameStop and TRS, TRS standing for total return swap. I have the date set here for most recent filings. And you can find a bunch of import filings here, but I'm going to highlight one of the most clear concrete pieces of evidence we have yet to see. I have not seen this posted on Reddit. I have not seen this posted on Twitter or any social media. So you're seeing it here first. Also, before we jump into it, I do want to give a shout out to the Reddit crew and the Reddit DDers out there because what they have started to write about and what they have theorized over the last eight months has led me to this point to help out in the cause and help bring the truth to light here. So let's jump right into the first report and mainly the one report we're going to focus on here today. And we're going to focus on one because where there's one, there's most likely multiples. And the theory that's been coming out recently from all the Reddit crew has been that the way these hedge funds and institutions have been getting around the Dodd-Frank bill, which was supposed to stop all these credit swaps and swaps in general that crashed the market back in 2008, is that they have been moving them offshores to make the transactions and then bringing them back to the US banks and institutions, putting them back on their books. But because these transactions have occurred offshores in other foreign countries, US regulators have no jurisdiction on these swaps. Therefore, they can't be properly regulated. And therefore, these could potentially cause another market blow up like we saw in 2007, 2008. Now, this time, however, it is going to be different because this time we have the proof before anything happens. So if markets do blow up because of these greedy hedge funds getting into swaps that destroyed the markets once before. Retail investors and the average American out there should know that this is something that has been predictable and this is something that is not our fault. And it's simply due to the greed from major institutions and big money managers out there. So now with that, let's jump into the report that I want to focus on here today. So this is part of the import report and it's talking about a derivative from Barclays. So based in the UK. And as we can see here, it's long and it gives this symbol total return swap. US dollars is what it's uh, nominated in and it gives it the whole information right here. If we scroll down, we come down a little bit more 
and we can see it's a derivative of an equity. So it's a basket of equities. Basically, it's based off of that basket. And if we come down a little bit more, we get more information on this here. So got to scroll down a little bit here. So the name of this so-called index is Barclays Short Interest Index. This is something that you can't find on major markets. You can't go buy these swaps in your TD Ameritrade account or your Fidelity account. This is something only the big boys can actually trade and something out of sight from regular retail investors. Now, it's very, very interesting. As we scroll down through their index, their short interest index, let's see what some of the names that come up here are. So we come down, keep going. And actually to make this easier, let's just do this. We'll use the control F for the find function. We'll type in AMC, AMC networks, which if you recall back in January of this year was one of the top short interest stocks coming in with GameStop. AMC X is the ticker of it. Come down a little bit further, you get AMC entertainment holdings. So AMC, let's go ahead and find See if GameStop is in here. There's GameStop in this list. Let's go ahead and see some other meme stocks. Fuel Cell, F-C-E-L, there we go. Let's find some more. Uh, what are some other big talked about stocks from the Reddit crowd? Well, let's see. Um, hmm. How about Fisker, F-S-R? interesting that it's in here and we'll take a look at the full list of some other big names that we've seen talked about over the last eight months in just a second but one of the things that i found in here is i scroll down we can find a whole listing of these stocks that are in this short interest basket but i got to come all the way down to the very bottom and in this report it talks about the reset periods so let me get down here first and foremost as you can see, there is a lot of stocks these guys are shorting into one basket that they can sell to other institutions, other hedge funds to get exposure to short these stocks all into one rather than having to short them and keep that record on their books. So that way it helps hide their actual true interest of what they're looking at, what they're wanting to bet against and how they can hide their short interest report. Because think about it. If they're not actually shorting the actual stock, they have something like a swap or a total return swap here. Therefore, their records won't show that they actually have these stocks short and that's what they're doing here. So coming down, looking at it here, we get into back into more information on it. And the last interesting thing that we wanna talk about here is the expiration date on this swap. So this swap is set all the way for a whole nother year of 2022 June 17th, 2022. So therefore, if they are using these swaps to short this basket of stocks, these meme stocks, they could potentially keep this going as long as everything stays the way it is currently until that point when that swap comes to an end and then who knows what's gonna happen at that point. All right, so let's jump into the basket of stocks that I have put together from this list of popular names that we've heard about over the last eight months. And here we go. Here's a list of 20 of the most popular names that I've seen, whether they've been talked about on Reddit, whether they made headlines to the news throughout the year so far. And some of the interesting ones I wanna highlight here. One, American Airlines. That was one of the five that got the buy button removed back in January, along with AMC, also GME, and a few others. Some of the other big names are Plug, coming in here in fuel cell, which we talked about earlier, Fiskars in here, as well as WWE, which is one that really hasn't been talked about very much. But when I was going through the report and I saw WWE coming in here, it reminded me of a post I saw about a month or so ago. I don't remember by, I don't remember exactly who wrote it over on the Reddit forums, some of the GME subreddits but they made a comment or they made a post talking about how different stocks are trading in tandem of one another. And one of their curious ones was WWE. And surprisingly enough, I found that in this same basket. So shout out to whoever that was. I apologize, I forgot your name and I couldn't find the post to give proper credit, but shout out to you. Thank you very much for all that you've done with that. But here you can find a lot of the popular names that you've seen from the Wall Street bet crowds talking about. You have DraftKings, GoPro, Bed Bath & Beyond, iRobot, uh, Chewy, which hasn't really been talked about too much directly, but 
Speaking of GameStop and with Ryan Cohen being the founder, Chewy had to throw that in here as well. But then you have other names like Beyond Meat, QS, uh, Mankind. So these are some of the names, some of the most popular names inside of that basket there. I'm trying to keep it as simple as possible and I apologize if I've messed anything up. But once again, remember, these types of derivatives are designed so that way the average investor has no idea what's going on and makes it hard to decipher. But hopefully this sheds some light and gives you concrete evidence that these meme stocks, quote unquote meme stocks, are actually being traded as one solid basket here through the use of total return swaps. Now, as I stated in other videos a few weeks ago, you know, talking about futures and how every single spike that we've seen with GameStop so far happens to be around that same exact date of the futures first notice date, which is when they have to roll over those options or roll over those contracts to the next expiration. Well, as I'm going through a lot of these reports, I keep noticing a lot of these are based or tied to interest rates and certain types of indexes and futures of indexes. So I'm not sure exactly how those play into it, but the fact that these swaps are tied directly to or have some sort of exposure to indices futures and also interest rate futures tells me that there's something more to it and that will be coming in another video as I continue to find more information out about these. And also remember, as I stated earlier, where there's one, you can expect to find multiple others. Also, with the original theory that's been coming out over the last week, they've stated that because of the Dodd-Frank bill, a lot of these total return swaps have been occurring, even though they're between two institutions in the United States, they've been transacting these swaps offshores, so that way US regulators can't see it and then bring them back on the books, that way they don't have to report it. And therefore hiding their true short positions and true interest without the regulators or US regulators being able to see it. So with all this being said, if this kind of information is new to you, if it's eye-opening to you, I hope it was, it was definitely for me. Make sure if you don't wanna see another 2007, 2008 occurring because of these swaps and derivatives, make sure to reach out to the CFTC because this isn't under the SEC anymore. This is under the CFTC because that regulator is the one who handles swaps, derivatives, commodities, etc. So let them know, use your voice out on social media, reach out to your politicians, let them know because we don't want to see our whole entire economy go through another market crash that isn't retail's fault. Also, if you ever want to see how these stocks add up or sort out depending on what your investment style is, make sure to click on the link down below, sign up for the VectorVest trial for 30 days, and you can put all these stocks in and see what's good, what's bad, and use the power of the VectorVest rank analysis to help save yourself time and help make better, smarter, faster decisions for yourself. So until next time, take care, adios, and I'll see y'all on the moon.